the Northern Dunedain. That's what we're going in as in this campaign. We're going very hard, very hard, and for the first time, I'm actually really, really scared of how this campaign is going to go, because I know a lot of you guys are saying that the Northern Dunedain are probably the hardest campaign in version 5. We have a buffed up Dunland, a buffed up Enedwyth, a strong, disgusting goblin horde on our doorstep, and of course Angmar in the north, and possibly even Ered Lewin from the west if things go south. So, we're gonna have a challenge this day, make no mistake about that. I'm all in for it though. I want a challenge. I hope that I can make it happen. I hope that I can bloom out and make Arnor strong and rekindle the light of the star of the Dunedain. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. But we're going in and we're going in hard. Let's move in to the campaign. Let's go. Strong humans in the north with strong bows. That is the faction we're playing today. Welcome to Divide and Conquer, the standard message you all know by now. If you're new to the channel and if you're new to version 5, feel free to have a little read here. It might, might be useful for you, so there we go. Take a little read. Northern Dunedain. Long have we remained hidden from the eyes of the enemy, operating in the shadows. That's everything that I'm going to read from this message. It's quite long, so I'm going to scroll it down for you. If you would like to have a read. There we go. Beautiful, exciting times. Wonderful, perfect. Okay. Alliance announced. Orcs of Gundabad, Dolguldur. Orcs of Gundabad, Remnants of Angmar. Gundabad and Moria. Were declared Gundabad and Anduin Vale. Okay. We are the Northern Dunedain, and this is the things we are starting the campaign with. Ostsul, a village with great roads though, that's pretty damn solid. That's pretty solid. And Fenasdruinin, also a village. And we have Metraith, which is actually a town with some walls, that's good news. And inside here we have Halbarad of the North. Yes, my lord. And he comes with... Dunedain Steel Bowman. That's a tough unit right there. Uh, I'm gonna keep you outside because I want. I'm kind of want to take maybe some watchtowers with you. Uh, just a second. And we have Aragorn, who's also going to move out and go do some watchtower journeys. He has the Grey Company. Solid unit. Inspires nearby troops. Frighten nearby enemy infantry. 17 attack. 34 defense. That's solid right there. That's a solid unit. Uh, Sadly, we can only get the one with Aragorn. There's no way for us to recruit these guys, but we have one unit, and they are insane. So I'm happy that we did get the one. Uh, go forth, Honor. bring me a, some vision, get a tower there. Tower and inside here we have Arafor. I can show yes, you the standard bodyguard if you would like to see. Um, Dunedain bodyguard, 8 attack, 8 missile attack, 20 defense, oh, 19 defense. This guy has actually been upgraded. Effective against armor as well with their bows. So these guys are insane as well. They're really good um, Really good against armored opponents trolls heavily armored uh, units overall. They're, they're really good So this is a, and they're not too expensive 145 gold coins each turn is not too much So yeah a solid unit. You're also gonna move Whoa, out and give me some vision You know how I am with vision, right? This Go over there get some vision the on the borders Move over this there, get this place visionized, the and then return back to Osur. Yes, and we have another guy here. We have uh, Hirvigil, and he has the standard bodyguards. Okay, so that is the thing we're starting off with. Uh, let's take a look at the faction information. Culture, Dunedain, special feature, settlement, restoration. We can construct Western Skidath, Anuminas, and Fornost. Um, that's good. Beacon of Hope, we can recruit some good troops here and there. Aragorn's quest, uh, we can do the quest here uh, to get him to reunite the kingdom, do the reunited kingdom, or we could forge, forge Arnor. And I think I'm going to try and do the latter. 
Arnor Reforged. That's the thing I'm going to go for, I think. If you guys really, really want me to do the Reunited Kingdom, then I guess I'm going to. But me, myself, what I want to do is reforge Arnor. That's what I want to do. Uh, there's a lot of things. Feel free to read. Um, I don't want to read too much into it because I want some things to be surprise surprises to me. I don't want to read everything. I don't want to know everything. I haven't played the Northern Dunedain since version 3, so I want it to be new. I don't want to read everything about everything, so... I'm going to just explore as we go forth. That's going to make it funnier for me to play. Um, okay, we're starting. Fenas Druinin, what can we get here? Uh, Leather Tanner would give us a little bit of extra income. 40, um, not too much. Lumber Camp, number 3 upkeep units, plus 1. That's pretty decent. Uh, we have the Hunting Hut here. Woodland Hunters, Hunting Camp, I mean. Hunting Hut is the Orcish type, I think. But this... Already gives us one extra and building income. We have the Woodland Hunters here. Uh, we don't need to get this straight away. Um, uh, it does about the same except the Lumberman here. Uh, Leather Tan is going to provide some extra income. Carpenter's Hut is cheap. There's not too much things we can get here. Herbalist is a great thing because that's going to provide some extra growth as well as chicken farming. Do we go for the leather tanner first, just to get some extra gold, or should we go for the car- Let's go for the carpenter's hut. Go for that. Metrith, over here. Uh, we have two Dunedain rangers here, which are not free upkeep. Uh, we could get this one, they're not going to be free upkeep anyways, if we get this one, because we need the Dunedain war camp in order to get them to be free upkeep. Um, what's- uh, 60%, okay, so we have enough. Should I go for the meeting hall and then the Dunedain war camp here, or should I go for something else? Uh, we need to be... Uh, the, the cash situation in this campaign is likely not going to be too great soon, so... Could now... I think we should go for the meeting hall or the Dunedain war camp here. I'm thinking... I want to get Halbarad out of here. I want to use him elsewhere. I don't want him... but I think... Metrith is going to be a region where we try and just defend. Um, I'm not going to expand from out of here at this moment. I want to focus on getting Anumanas and Faunost first of all. I want them. I know uh, there's other strategies like taking Rushing Tharbad instantly and holding there, or rushing the goblins. Goblins are likely going to be the first target that we destroy, but I'm not going to rush them. I want to take a Numinous and Faunus and then focus my actions on the goblins. And just try and hold here. Take the goblins out and then try and focus all on my, of my military effort in the north against Angmar. And Metrith, I just want to hold here. Uh, so we are going to go for the meeting hall. These rangers are going to stay here. They're likely going to be needed because we're likely going to be attacked here later from Dunland or Inadwyth or whatever. That might come here. So meeting hall and then the Dunedain war camp and we're likely going to go for the hunting camp as well because that's going to provide an extra unit of free upkeep. So this, this, this and then possibly the Dunedain militia garrison as well. Uh, yeah we're gonna need this one I'm pretty sure so we should try and get that as well. Ostsul over here we have a general who is going to go in there soon. We could go for this one. Uh, yeah, it should be beneficial if we get this one first, but he's out creating watchtowers at the moment. Uh, he's not going to be back for a few turns, so we are going to go for the carpenter's hut. If he was inside, I would probably go for the meeting hall straight away, but he's not inside. He's just going out and getting watchtowers. So we're going to go for the carpenter's hut first, and then probably the meeting hall after. Okay, uh, where can we get the Diplomat? Not here. Uh, do we need a building for it? Is, this is our capital, right? It is. We can get a spy, which we are going to try and get. Let's get that spy. Um, Ostsul, perhaps? Could this be the one? Yes, we can get the Diplomat here. That's good. Let's get the Diplomat at Ostsul. And let's take a look at the factions we're at war with and allies to. We're allied to the High Elves and Bree, of course. No surprises there. We're at war with the Goblins of Moria and the Remnants of Angmar. Okay. What I think I want to do with the Diplomats here that we're getting is to try and get a peace treaty with the Goblins in the beginning of the turn. Maybe try and get some money out of them. 
if we can, and um, we are going to fight them later, so make no mistake, they are going to be crushed. But uh, if we can get some cash out of them by getting a peace treaty, we should try and do that. We need all the money we can get, and maybe even try and go north and get a peace treaty with Angmar for now as well, just to get some extra money, because we're going to need money in our banks. Halberad of the North, I'm going to risk you a little bit here, I'm going to move out with you, I'm going to get some towers. Um, Rayador is full of rebel forces lurking around in these kinds of areas, but I'm going to risk his life. I think we should be fine. Uh, if he get attacked, we should we probably just be able to out resolve and he should be able to withdraw back to Metrith. I want this entire region to be visionized before I send him out elsewhere. So, just yes. get me the bloody um, towers, please. Uh, this army, this army that is inside of the force here, I'm going to move out with them straight away. Uh, get them out, move for Fornost. Your order is my lord. The thing is, it's a bit scary because I think that they have quite the garrison in both of these regions. Um, I don't remember exactly what it is inside, but I think they're quite large and quite scary. So, yes. can we get any mercenaries, first of all? We're just in between three areas here. Yeah, we can get mercenaries here. Uh, only bandits, though. That's not the ideal mercenaries. How about in Bree? Bree should be a location where we could get some mercenaries, I think. Yes. Okay. A few more. Uh, journeymen, crossbows with five missiles. They're effective against armor, though. We are going to take them. They're quite expensive, though. Um, but we need them just to take Fornost, uh, I think. So let's get them. Let's get the archers. This is going to be expensive, but we're going to do it nonetheless. Get the next unit of spears. Oh, the bandits are actually quite a lot cheaper. You know what? Let's get the bandits. Get the bandits. They're cheaper. Let's get them. This is costing us a lot, but we're gonna get them. Let's do it. Ah, this is hurting my economy, but we need them, I think. There we go, a few extra troops. Um, take these guys with you as well, and move for Fornost. Can we get even more mercenaries here? We can get some more bandits. We're not gonna get them, we don't need any more. I think we have enough. Fornost should be located somewhere around here. Let's move for it straight away. And then instantly after we've taken Fornost, I want to try and take Anuminas as well. Mercenary captain, minus 10 unit training cost, plus 10 to looting gain. This is a good this is a good governor because he can uh, sit in a place where we can recruit troops because that's gonna make it a little bit cheaper. Alright, is there anything more that we need to do? Anything else? I'm not too sure. I think we have everything. We've done everything we need to. We're just getting out and doing watchtowers. We're likely not earning too much money. Oh, construction was a lot part and recruitment. So, yeah. Let's end a turn. I don't think we're going to go too much minus, but the force in the north there is going to cost us a bit of extra money. Uh, as long as we take Fornos and Anuminas as early as possible, we should be able to earn some money again, I think. I hope so. I certainly do. And uh, we have a lot of forts in the Ostsul region, I see now. Um, three forts in Ostsul, that's good. Um, we should try and garrison those forts up if we can, if we have the money for it. Have them free upkeep, act as a reserve force in that area that we can gather if things turn south, we might need a we might need an army um, quickly uh, here in this area. So we might want to try and fill these forts up. Look at that! The goblins are already here. They won't be able to reach Fenestruini just yet. Agents, this is a spy. Let's move over here. Oh my god. This is not looking too promising. Oh, there's a lot of armies here. And we are at war with them. Uh, we have the diplomats here. I want to move him over here. I want to try and get the peace treaty with them. For now. Yes, my lord. To buy some extra time. Aragon, keep going. Yes. Get towers. This tower will keep vigil over the land. That's enough. This tower Good. I think we're likely lands. going to move you elsewhere. Should we sit? him here if they do attack yeah I think we're gonna move back with you for a turn or two hopefully we can get the peace with them I really hope so fact announcements nothing important 
the spy and the diplomat. That's good news. Okay. Uh, we are losing a little bit of money. That's yes, to be expected. Yes. Let's uh, get a wall there. Move further here and get more towers. Lord, my Lord. Rebel army there. I'm just going to ignore it for now. Let's move for Fornos with speed. Fornos is over here. Dead Man's Dyke. Yes. Uh, let's besiege it. We can only see two Goblin infantry. That's not too scary. Let's besiege it and um, let's try and go in as soon as we can. Yes. Let's try. If these rebels want to attack me, they won't be able to reach me. But if these guys move back and want to attack me, we're likely going to try and go for them attacking us instead. I think that would be better. So we're going to wait here for an extra turn if they move towards my army. If they're not, we're just going to go in and take it. Uh, Halbarad yes, of the North, keep going on your dangerous journey here. The Watchtower mission that you're going for. It's quite scary, that's good. Get that mission, move over there. Uh, Going further in there, actually. Okay. Okay. Solid start. We're besieging Deadman's Dyke. We have a yes, decent Lord. army. I think we have enough. I'm not entirely sure what they have inside, but we can only see two Goblin infantry. It doesn't look too scary. I don't think. Okay. Good. Let's end the turn again. There's nothing more we can do. Let's do it. Uh, let's see where those disgusting uh, goblins are going to go. I'm scared. High elves. Uh, if you want to, please do something good. Uh, try and be friendly. Attack that goblin army, for example. That would be great if you could do that. It doesn't look like they want to go into my territory, though. That's really good. Nirion, I'm going to take you in. I'm going to take you. You spawn at Fenestruinin. That's really good. That's really good, actually. You're going to stay there. And Aragorn, Lord, you're going to go elsewhere. Where's my diplomat? He's over there. My Lord. Go and talk to Gam. Ceasefire. Generous. That's good. They're bankrupt, though. Okay. Uh, how much money can we get out of them? Let's try 1k. I, they're bankrupt. That's this thing. Uh, 2k, maybe? Let's try that. They're likely not going to be able to accept this because they don't have any money. Let's try it, though. Just rejected. Okay. We want the ceasefire, though. We really want it. Make the model. Let's try 1k. Otherwise, we're going to try 500. How about that? Ceasefire. 1,000 gold. Oh, they accept it. Good. We are also going to go for trade rights with them. Uh, that should earn us a little bit of money and map info and let's see if they can pay some more money let's see if they can pay 600 for that we have three regions let's see i don't think they have the money though let's try no okay that's good that was that was decent i'm really happy about that some extra gold coins diplomat i want you to move north get a peace treaty with angmar I shall continue to Okay, mark. construction report, Fenner's drawing in Carpenter's Hut. Over here, what you want to get? Probably the Dunedai Militia Garrison. We're likely going to be attacked a lot of times. Uh, but before we go for that, I want to go for the Leather Tanner. It's going to provide a little bit of extra income, so let's go for that. Ostsul over here. Meeting Hall, because this guy, we want him to be free upkeep, so let's go for that. He's soon going to be back at Ostsul, so let's go for it. Metrith. Meeting hall. We can afford the Dunedain war camp. I think we should go for it. We, we are going to save a lot of money if these guys are free upkeep. So let's go for it. Uh, let's go for that building there. We have the money for it. We are beginning to lose money now, though. We're, we're not. We're soon going to be in the red. We need to use our diplomatic skills yes, in order to make sure that we get some more yes. money. We shall get the tower. To I want a tower there as well. And then vision the here. Land. And then you can return back to Ostsul. They are moving back, it looks like. That's good. I want them to attack yes, me. Um, I'd rather have a fight outside than going in inside here. Let's take a look at their garrison. We should be able to see... Oh, God. They have a troll unit. That's actually really scary. I'm not a fan of that. They have two black pit archers. Uh, can be problematic. They have... Yeah, reduce morale, that's not nice. Uh, shouldn't be too much of a problem, though. Uh, th this guy, though, might be a problem. Barrow White, 15 attack, 21 defense. Um, okay. Uh, what do they have inside this one? Orc Fighters. We are going to... I don't think they have too much great things in here. Hopefully not. 
Hopefully they only have the low tier troops here. I'm gonna risk it. I don't know exactly what they have here, so... But we're going to risk it. I want them to attack me. It's gonna be easier to fight in the open field than inside here because of the bloody trolls and things like that. Maybe not, actually, because they might glitch out. But I'd rather have a open field battle instead. Yes, Halbarad. Stand over there. Give me a tower. The Shire has been reached. Move further south. Give me some vision yes. here. How long Making it's down here. here? Okay, go down here. Your orders, my lord. Bring me some vision in. Okay, can you get a tower there? This there we go. And how about if we move? The orders, there, maybe that's a good location. Okay, good. No further, okay. Um, Bruinost is rebel. Uh, these guys are likely going to take it in the next turn. I'm expecting Aragon. Yes, where do we send you? We are likely going to get the mission soon, so we should probably prepare. You can actually go here and get it, some vision here while we're at it, and then move into Bree, because we're likely going to get that mission. And I remember that the first thing you need to do is to get uh, going to Bree. That's one thing I know. Okay. Send a turn again. See what happens. Oh, the spy. I might want to move the spy. Yeah, I know. The goblins are our first priority. Uh, so the spy is going to stay down here. The goblins are the first major enemy in this campaign that we want to take out. So, spy, we're going to need you here. Okay, the goblins, they took Bruinost. Okay, that's sad. Um, and the rebels did attack me. Okay, that's good. Good news. That's exactly what we wanted. Uh, what do they have? Captain Avrank. Okay, only orc fighters. Only standard melee troops. Good. This army is no problem. They outnumber me a lot. Uh, and this army is not that scary. They have two units that can really do some major harm to me. Uh, the Barrow Whites and the Trolls. They are scary. Uh, but we're here. We're ready to go. And I think we should be able to win. We have the Dunedain Rangers. We have some extra army. We have crossbows. These crossbows are going to likely try and fire at the Trolls. If we get the opportunity to do so with their armor piercing shots. Okay, let's move into combat. The first battle of the campaign. Attack! Let's see if we can find a hilly position. Start deployment. It looks like this map might be good for us. I hope it might be. Uh, spears, if you could form up like this. And we have a lot of missiles this day. Uh, the bandits, these guys are going to have to hold the line for us. And we have a lot of... This is nice. We have a lot of missiles. These guys are not that great, though. Two missile attack. Uh, remember, we have trolls that we need to take to take out today. So that's a little bit scary, honestly, this early. Start the battle. The uh, reinforcements are spawning down there. That's exactly what we want. Go down here. Stand over there. And we're going to focus... Oh, it's lagging. Why is it lagging? Stop lagging. Bloody hell. Focus down the... If it's lagging, I'm just going to pause it quickly here and just rest recording in a second here. Hopefully nothing bad happened there with the recording. I'm certainly hoping so. Let's return to the battle. Okay, so we were at this position. Get the rangers up here. Start firing down those trolls um, with everything you have. Melee forces, you can start running. You're gonna, it's going to take a while for you to get there. Rangers, uh, general, fire at the trolls. That's the target you want you to fi we want you to fire on. Dunedain Rangers, the same with you. Focus down the trolls. Oh, they're getting here quickly. Focus everything you have on the bloody trolls. In position, where are those uh, journeymen? Oh, you're over there. Okay, uh, you need to get closer. Oh, they're getting closer fast here. Uh, the trolls. Okay, they're running for me. We are not getting too many shots off here, which is not too great. And the journeyman wasn't here in time. Oh, they're falling back. Why is it lagging like this? I don't like this. This is the first battle of the campaign. Stop lagging, bloody hell. Jesus, we're getting some of them down now. That's good. Might have stopped now. Okay, they didn't, if they're not going to attack me, then by all means, do not attack me then. They're firing at my ranges. That's not nice. Focus down the bloody trolls. Journeyman, if you could focus down the archers from your position. They're moving in now. Now they're falling back again. Okay, if they want to get themselves totally destroyed, then by all means. Stop firing at the trolls now. 
focus down the Blackbeard Archers. The, the armor piercing guys are going to try and go for the Barrow Whites, though. Try and weaken these Blackbeard Archers. They're actually doing some harm to me. I'm going to try and flank with. Uh, could you move forwards a little bit more? I want to try and tie up the Goblins here. The Trolls should fall. Go for guard mode. You too. We should be able to take down the trolls. They only have one remaining, so that's fine. Uh, they're getting closer, though. We need to do something here. Yeah, the barrow eyes are a problem. That's not nice. We won't be able to fire at them. Should we just hold the line now? They're going to get stuck in the, into the band. Focus down the goblin infantry. They should be stuck. Are they going forwards? Looks like they are. That's not nice. Pull back. I thought they were going to be stuck in my bandits. We should try and move back with the rangers and focus down the forces that are coming here. Move up. Oh, the Barrow Whites, though, they're carving through my lines. You can fire at the Goblin Infantry. I don't like that they're chasing me like this. This is really not too nice. We're taking some losses on the rangers. That's not good. Fire at the Goblin Infantry. Okay, they're pulling back. That's good. How is it looking? How many have we killed here? Quite a lot, that's good. I want you to start flanking now and doing some damage on the Barrow Whites. They're actually scary, they're not getting killed nearly quickly enough. Rangers, start firing on these units instead. They're quite healthy. You're just gonna try and weaken the Goblin Infinity there, that's good. Uh, oh, you're getting stuck in combat, that's not good. Pop the ability. Go this to the flank here. Get out of combat. Uh, they're coming. The bandits are actually broken. That's not good. That's not good at all. Start pulling back. Oh, this is not good. We might, okay, you need to go into melee. You're going to have to stay there, sadly. You're going to have to. Rangers, go to this side. Focus on the Barrow Whites. You're not in a good position. I want you over here. You can go back now because the Barrow Whites is over here. So move over there. We need my front line to win soon. The Barrow Whites are moving away, that's not good. We, we need to take that general out because otherwise they're not going to break. Go for the Orc Fighters. Focus on the Barrow Whites, you're almost piercing. They're following me with some Orc Fighters. They're moving in against my Archers here. Yeah, try and go this way now. Go over there. Because we're going to try and go for you. Let's try and see if you can lure them into to this area. The Orc Fighters are actually s somehow... Um, Going in, in the backs of me here. These guys are holding Only half for now. They're shaking remains. though, which is not good. We have our, our elites still, so that's good. You can focus down these guys. They're going into combat now, so that's good. My guys are shaking, probably from the Black Pit Archers. They're doing more harm than I thought they would. They're going for me. Try and spread out a bit here. Still firing everything they have at us. Spread out. Bloody hell, they're just chasing, 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 my guys. We are not allowed to do any damage with our troops here. Uh, you know what? Try and go for some volleys on this unit and then we're going to send these guys. They're wavering, that's good, that's really good. These guys are still holding, even though they're broken. You're still firing in the sides of these guys. Where are those bloody barrow eyes? Over there, that's okay, they're tied up over there, that's totally fine. We're losing quite a lot of troops here. But the Dundadine Wardens are holding like bloody champions. They're broken. Beautiful. Thank you for that. Go closer. We need you to fire on something now. Fire Thork fight. We're going to send you into melee soon. Uh, you are going to come this way as well, quickly. These guys are still firing at us, doing some harm to my rangers. My poor, poor rangers are taking some losses here. Uh, we need to try and flank the Barrow White. We need to get that general killed. Uh, otherwise, we're never going to break. Go into melee there. One of you are going to stay here and support fire on that unit. The general, though, I want him here. I want him to fire at the Barrow White. Same with you. We're not firing too much. We're just running, running, running. That's not good. These guys are broken. That's good news. Really good. Could you move out and try and tie up these bloody black pit archers, please? Go over that. Uh, unit right. I thought we killed the general there, but these Our archers are not gonna. We killed the general. How on earth? It has to be the captain. To to Barrow whites, go for them, please. Quickly. 
You can honestly just Only stand over there and fire. And you can stand over there and fire. Everyone, focus on the Barrow Whites. We have one archer remaining. <laughs> please get him killed. These guys are breaking. That's good news. Uh, please go for the Blackbeard Archers. You can try and chase them down as well. You are going to fire here as well. We still have one archer remaining. What a chad this guy is. He's de dying now though, but he's buying us time. Vital time. Try and just... You can... Yeah, just chase. Chase these blackbeard archers. They're going to move for us. Try and spread out a bit. Uh, let's take a look and see what they do. Crossbows keep on firing. Okay, they're pulling back. Third remaining of these bloody barrow eyes. Pop the ability. They're moving for this ranger unit, it looks like they are. They might go into melee, though. But my, my Dunedin Wardens are fine, they're totally fine. We're Okay, we've caught these Blackbeard Arch, that's good. 24, we're dropping them, we're dropping them, that's good news. We need to start kiting. And one of you can fire down there. Come on, start kiting. I told you to run an hour ago and you're still standing, come on. Pray run away. In the course of battle, but defeat seems almost certain. Are we missing every shot? Okay, there we go. Stop, start firing on them again. Victor seems certain. That's not good. The battle seems to be swinging yeah, it's swinging in our, our favor. favor. From such tidings, does but we're losing a lot of troops. Okay, there we go. Go closer. Go closer. Finish the bloody job here. We need to kill this Barrow White general. Oh, bloody this hell. This battle turned a bit clunkier than I thought it would. Uh, it did, certainly it did. Uh, we're losing a lot of troops. Uh, we haven't. Uh, we did lose quite a lot of rangers as well. These orc fighters actually proved to be quite the problem for us. I could have played this battle better, better though. But don't be too hard on me because this is the first battle that I play in a long time. I haven't played Divide and Conquer for a while, so. Just uh, give me a break for some battles in the beginning of this campaign. I'm going to play poorly, probably, um, in the beginning of this campaign, because of the fact that it was a while since I played this game. Come on, just bring down this bloody general and be done with it. Come on. He's never going to break either, so... We killed one guy there. One more guy. Come on, keep getting killed. These guys are broken. Everyone is broken except these flipping black pit archers, which are doing so much damage to me. They're doing so great. There's one guy remaining. Come on, bring him down. You're gonna go here and just try and help with the black pit archers. They're doing so much damage. Oh, he's just not dying. Come on, please kill him. We're missing every shot. You're firing from so close. Are we hitting our own troops? It looks like we are. Crossbows are actually doing harm to my own troops. Pull away. Can this battle just be over? Crossbows, please just get this guy killed. Please get rid of him. Uh, he's just not dying. Oh, there we go. Finally, please, Blackpit Archers, get the hell away. There we go. Okay. This is a great uh, heroic victory. victory. I'm not sure that it was. I didn't feel general. so heroic after this battle. We lost a lot, but Fornost is ours. Dunedain Wardens, you absolute legends. Dunedain Borgos didn't get to do too much in this one. We did kill the trolls really early, but then the Barrow Whites was quite problematic. It looks like we healed a few of our troops. The bandits healed a few. That's good, actually. We're, we're going to need them if we want to go for Numenas. Uh, but it looks... Kind of decent in terms of kills. The Dunedin Wardens, Beasts, Rangers got a lot of kills. They got chased a lot of the battle though, so. But I'm happy. Fornost, Dead Man's Dyke, whatever you want to call it, is ours. We have triumphed. There Milord, we go. Now get your ass out of my front porch before I call the authorities. Just occupy this one. There we go. Good. Enemy camp, Zacked. We're likely going to earn some money now, I'm hoping. Kerandros under attack. A new mission, Dwarfs of Casa Doom. Uh, we should definitely go for that mission before we go north to Angmar. 
We won't be able to get there though because they're locked. Uh, I'm remem remembering now, so we're not gonna get there. Uh, the goblins are in the way, so there's no way for us to get there. Move north, Without ignore that mission for now. Move towards Angmar. Stopping here. Okay. Command attacking walls, that's good. Good start, good start. Uh, we did lose a lot of people here, but we have taken it. And that's good news. What should we go for here? Carpenter's Hut is something we could afford. We could go for the land clearance, though. How much would that bring in? Uh, quite the healthy amount, actually. Uh, should we go for this one first? You know what? I think we might want to. We have the meeting hall. He is free upkeep there. He's not going to stay here, though. We're going to move straight away for Numenas. Land clearance. Let's go for the land clearance here. It's going to give a little bit of extra income. We are going to move out straight away, though. Yes, uh, Let's leave behind these archers. They're going to keep them happy. That's Whoa, good. We could sit in the fort for a turn. Get a tower. There we go. Sit in there for a turn. That's going to save us a little bit of money, which is something we desperately need. Uh, so sit there. Halbarad, move down here. Are we going to get hit by some rebels now? We have rebels there. Okay, we're safe for now. Get another tower. Keep going down here and get more vision for me. You are going there. That's good. Get that tower and return to Ostsul. Govern this location because Aragorn is going to get vision here. Get a tower there. That's good. And maybe a tower there. Should be enough. We can go no uh, spy. This is a region we should try and take away from them. The thing is, I really want to... Osterneth Hill is a region that the High, high Elves... Um, I really want to give Osterneth Hill to the High Elves. And I know that the Goblins should have this. Um, what should we begin by taking? Bruinos needs to fall. Arnon and Rod needs to fall. I really want the High Elves to border. We could... Oh, I don't know yet. I really want them to border. We could give them Bruinost and Ostenethil to make sure that they border the region. Otherwise, they're likely going to lose it straight away. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I want to do. Eregion, though, is a region that I want to give to the High Elves. Um, yes, my lord. It's going to be a nice buffer in this area as well, if we give it to them. Okay, Halbarad, just complete your watchtower journey and then move elsewhere where you're needed. Metriath is going to stay as it is. And remember, as soon as this one is completed as well, these guys are going to be free upkeep as well. That's going to save us even more money. This one is done soon, so it's going to give us a little bit of extra income. And he is on his way yes, back. He's going to be free upkeep soon. That's good news. Uh, you're staying there for one turn. Uh, Anumina should be over there. I hope that this army is enough. I really hope so. We need to get this task completed. We need to get the Anumina's. Deadman's Dyke is a region we should probably prioritize militarily. Um, maybe get uh, most of our military forces over there. Because I think that Fornost is more likely to be attacked from Angmar than Anumenas. I think Anumenas is a lot safer um, at the beginning. So the majority of the military strength, there, you know, we need to make them sure that they're free upkeep there. We have two free upkeep units from the stronghold here. Two free upkeep from the meeting hall. We can get another if we can get the... We, I don't think we can get it here. No, maybe not. We can get, get the great hall. So there is a lot of free upkeep possibilities at Deadman's Dyke, which is good. We're going to need them. So Dunedain War Camp and the Dunedain Militia Garrison is something we really want here. This is a cheap building here as well. Is it cheaper in this region? I think it might be. It looks like it. No, it's a castle. That's probably why. It's a stronghold. Could be that. Okay, okay. Things are looking decent. I'm pretty happy about how things are looking this far. Uh, we're going to move towards Amnuminas in the next turn. And let's end this turn. We should earn a little bit of extra money now with the... Um, 
blacksmiths or the leather workers being completed. It's only 880 gold coins per turn, but it's going to provide a little bit of extra, so always something. And we should also try and recruit some troops. We're really thin in terms of troops at the moment. Nirion, we're earning money now though, that's good. We have the guys in the fort, that's probably why. Construction report, Ostsul meeting hall. You are going to yes, get back that ASAP to be free upkeep. And the Fenas Druin in Levitana. Dunedain militia garrison. I think we need this one here. I think we need to. We need to save the money and get this one because the goblins are already looking like they want to attack me. So I'm probably going to save the money we have and try and get this building as soon as we can. Yes. Halvarad, keep going on the tower journey. Okay, can we get over there? No, we need to pass through Dunlending territory. I don't like that. Can we get a tower there? Yeah, get a tower there as well. And go this way. Take this way. I don't want to go through Dunland territory. Take this path there and just go for a tower in the corner there. And then get away from this area. This one is soon completed, which is really nice. Okay. Let's move out with the force. Is this force going to be enough though? I'm not entirely sure because it looks kind of scary. I don't know what they have. We can get more mercs. We can get some bandits. With honor. Yes. Okay, Illuminous is over there. Lumbermen. Uh, they're armor piercing. They're quite scary with that. They're upgraded in terms of armor. They have five defense. But my archers should be able to do some damage to them, I hope. My army isn't the strongest one. What do they have inside? Should we get the bandits? We're not going to get them now. We're going to get them in the next turn. With honor, before we attack it. No They're like, they might be selling forth. I'm not entirely sure what they have inside here. Uh, so go in there. We're going to get the bandits, the extra bandits. And hope that that is going to help us out. Yes, my lord. Yes. Get the tower this there. Tower and then, the where do we send you? Lord, Maybe back. We're likely going to get this mission soon to go to Bree. So... Uh, Stand here. We should be able to get it soon, I think. So stand there. And as soon as we have the money, we need this one. Here. I'm so scared of these bloody goblin hordes. Where's my diplomat? We need money. Yes. Let's try and get that peace treaty with as Angmar. Quickly. Here. Let's send it on again. All right. I'm actually insanely excited for this campaign. This is what this was the campaign that I really wanted to play myself because I love the troops that you can have as the Northern Dunedain. I love the campaign in itself. The last time I played it, which was a long time ago, and a lot of things has changed since I played this campaign. Oh, they're already going into my territory. There we go. We did get the message here. Uh, Chieftain Aragorn. These are dark times we live in. A shadow covers the lands of Middle-earth. Whispers of a great evil lurking in the east. It is said that the Nine have left Minas Morgul and are travelling west across the lands as we speak. I have a feeling that a storm is coming and we should be prepared. It would be best if you travel to the city of Bree in order to acquire information about all that has happened beyond our borders. You should go to the Prancing Pony, where many good travelers rest from their long journey. Perhaps there, the, oh, bloody hell, perhaps there are men from the south or dwarfs from the eastern provinces that can provide us with valuable information. Right now, my friend, may your journey be blessed. Yes. It's not the longest journey in the world. And I only think we need to go into this territory. We don't need to go to Bree. So just stand here. And we should be fine. You're inside of their territory. Yes, you are. Good. Yes, We can get mercs here. Breeland militia. We're not going to get them. We could get them and stick them into the fort. But we need the money because I need the garrison building here at Fernsdruinin. As soon as possible. They're at war. That's actually good for us. Let them occupy each other there. Let's take a look at the family tree as well. We haven't looked at that. High King Arador died peacefully. High King Arathorn. And we have High King Aragorn now. High King. He's not the High King yet. Uh, but he's our faction leader. We have Ranger Captain Eldarion at the age of one year. And we have Nirion, an adopted uh, guy here. 
uh, which is nice. He has already gotten a son. And we have Halbarad uh, on this side as well, married to Dala. And Aragorn, of course, is married to Arwen. They're not married yet, but they are together. Uh, yes, my lord. Take this path and move to yes. the corner and get With that honor. final watchtower. Yes. And then likely going to send him down towards the Fenestruinian area. Uh, we want him here against the goblins because that's the area where the most heavy fighting is going to happen. We have a rebel yes. army there. Uh, I guess I was lucky that I missed this one because I have a fort there. They must have gone out from the woods towards my fort, I guess. Um, we should try and you. take this one out later. Uh, but not now. We'll get the vision first. One turn for this building to be completed. That's good news. Whoa. And uh, it's going to cost us some money, but I really want to get the extra bandits because I'm quite scared at what they might have inside here. We shall Hopefully they're gonna sell it for we yes. cannot see. We can only see the lumbermen. There might be some decent human units in here. And we need to be prepared. I hope that they sell it forth. Yes, my lord. Go back there, that's gonna save us even more money, which is great. Your orders, Good. Uh, Diplomat, keep going north. Talk yes. to Angmar. We are boarding Angmar already. Uh, okay. Ostsul is not... We are going to need the Dunedai Militia Garrison here as well. That's just how it yes, is. Uh, because we're boarding them already. Who are they at war with? They're at war with uh, Bri, Edith Lewin, the High Elves, and me, of course. But they're only boarding me at this moment, I think. They're likely not boarding... Oh, uh, they're boarding Deadman's Dyke. We need to take Anumines now. And move everything we have militarily over there. We need to have a solid defense there. Uh, Ostsul needs the Dunedin Militia Garrison. And we do get the free upkeep three here. This gives us two free upkeeps. We have five free upkeep units in here. Uh, can we get the... No, we cannot get it here. Five free upkeep units though. That's pretty solid. That is pretty solid. We are going to start recruiting troops after we have taken Anumenas. Um, we should definitely utilize these five free upkeep slots that we do have. And also to do a dine militia garrison is something we absolutely need there. That's how it is. I don't like is this at all. Is that what you want? Is that Captain what you want? Balrog is moving into my territory. That's not good. Uh, Halbarad. Is there anything more we can do? Yes, no, I really want to find I Angmar and get a peace tomorrow. treaty with them and the turn. We need to get that peace reader with them before they attack us. Uh, so that we can get the wealth out of them that we want to get. Maybe some trade rights with them as well before they attack us. That's going to give us a little bit of extra income as well before they attack. Which is something we need. Rebels, are you going to sally forth from Anumenas? I certainly hope so. Please do. Please sally forth. But if they do, they didn't sally forth. Arodon, we're going to need you as well. I'm going to send you a letter arrives. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to read this one first. I'm going to try and sound like Gandalf as well, because I think this is the... yeah. While entering the Prancing Pony, Aragorn had a chat with the owner. It seems the Grey Wizard left a letter for Aragorn, which states the following message. Okay, I'm going to do my best here to sound like Gandalf. I don't think I'm going to do this. Don't judge me here, please. Don't judge me. Okay. Elisar. Oh, I can't do this. This is embarrassing. Dark time. Oh, bloody hell. Dark have been the times of late. And if I'm right, I might have... I can't do this. I'm going to read normally. It's just not going to go well. I might have stumbled on the darkest secret of all. I cannot tell you my suspicions in this letter. It might fall in the wrong hands. But I hope I can count on your help. You must search for the creature Gollum in the Rauder Uplands. His appearance will be somewhat orcish, and he will travel alone. It is imperative that you locate him before the dark forces find him. The Nine have indeed left Minas Morgul, as the rumours told. I myself will ride to Minas Dirith to do some more research. Meet me there, in the Prancing Pony, as soon as you have located and captured Gollum. Hari Elizar, time is of the essence. 
Gandalf. I need to work on my Gandalf voice. It is not that great. Uh, I felt it instantly. Yes, my lord. He is going to move. Uh, I'm not entirely sure exactly where he's going to go. Likely going to go to Ostsul. We're going to send him to Ostsul. This guy is going to move to Deadman's Dyke and act as the governor there. We're going to need a governor there, I'm pretty sure. So let's move there. You can actually sit in the fort for a turn. Um, I want a governor there. And then this guy yes, could stay at Anuminas instead. Let's take a look at what they have. They didn't sell it forth. Captain Walt. Uh, lumbermen. Three units of lumbermen. Two woodland hunters. They have the cell swords as well. We have a lot of missiles. Should we just go in and be done with it? I think we might want to. Construction report. Metrith. Dunedain war camp. Your order, That's good. Lord. And Deadman's Dyke. Land clearance. Can we get the defensive thing here first of all? No, we're out of money. Um, okay. Matrith. What do we want to get here? We need a governor here as well. That is something I really want. We have the meeting hall here. Anything that we could go for here that would be good? Not now. I'm going to wait with that. But Deadman's Dyke, though, I really want to get something here. Something cheap. Carpenter's hut, perhaps. Get the carpenter's hut and save the rest of the money for this building here. Uh, diplomats. Yes, Can we find Angmar? As you wish. No, not yes. yet. They, they have a region here. I know they have. We should be able to I find them soon. We need tomorrow. to find them. I think we are going to end yes, this episode by taking... This tower uh, okay, that's good. You have done well here. You can get a tower here. Do we want this to go this way? Yeah, take this path. Yes, my lord. Take this path. I yes. wanted to move to, to, to this area. We could stick you Your into a fort. Uh, uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to stick you into a fort. Not this fort. We might get attacked by a rebel arm or something. So we're going to stick it in this fort. And utilize him in the fighting with the goblins uh, whenever we have it. Is that what you want? The High Elves, are they... Could you, like, take this region? Or something? That would be nice if you could do that. I would be really happy if you did. I'm not expect expecting it though, but I would be happy. We need to try and take this one out, but we don't. I don't, I'm not going to go for it just yet. Uh, we're just going to ignore this rebel army for now. Yes. The thing we want to do now is to take a Numenas, and I'm not sure how this is going to go. We have rangers, we have crossbows, we have some bandits that we, could, that we could send into suicide while my archers do the heavy lifting. Ideally, I want to keep my Dunedain warden safe, um, but the bandits are likely going to be the ones moving in first. Uh, taking the heavy hits, uh, hitting. Uh, let's go in. Let's try and take Anumanas. Uh, let's end the first episode with this battle. Here we go. Let's conquer Anumanas. Let's destroy Captain Edmund. I think they don't have towers. If they do, we're going to be destroyed. No, they don't have towers. Oh, I remember. Anumanas is such a beautiful battle map. This is a beautiful battle map. It really is. Oh Lord, Anuminas, I do love you, especially when you, when we have rebuilt you. Let's take a look at it. How beautiful it looks. Now, this was once the crown jewel of the Kingdom of Arnor, and show, so it should be once more. You can count on that. We are the remnants of Arnor, and we're going to make this city great. We're going to rebuild it, we're going to make it solid and beautiful once more. The crown jewel of Arnor, and once the great capital of the kingdom. Uh, and then later, of course, Fornost was the capital. Start the battle. Uh, what's up with the flipping lag? Why did it take time there? Mm, okay, okay, let's take a look. Sh can we get some cheeky position to fire from? If we can, I really want to try and do that. Can we stand over there and fire through this hole? Let's see if we can. What do they have here? They have... Uh, one, two, three. All of the lumbermen are here. If we can fire down these guys without getting into combat with them, we are going to have an easy time here. Over here, they have their archers and the cell swords. Okay, this looks pretty solid. 
Uh, as long as we can fire on these bastards, uh, we can... We should be fine. Are you fine? Are you... Actually, no, you're standing over there. That's not what we wanted to do. You're not hitting anything from there. No, we're not going to be able to fire from there. I think this is the best position to stand on. Let's see if we can hit anything here. Uh, you're going to move forth as well. Are we hitting anything? We're doing the arcing shot, which is not the best thing in the world. Try and go for this unit, it might be better. Now we're doing the arcing shot, we're wasting our, our ammo here. Stop firing. Are you doing some good damage though? I think you're doing the arcing shot, let's take a look. Yeah, you are. That's okay. Don't fire. It's just a waste. Men have done well. We have killed a few. Um, okay. Bandits, move away a little bit. Crossbows. If you could go over there and fire on them through the hole. And if one of my archers, probably the general, if you could stand over there and fire on them, then by all means, do. Weaken them as much as you can before we go in. These are lumbermen. They can actually do some damage because they're more piercing, so... Stand over there. Yeah, this is a bit cheesy, but hey, I'm not gonna send in my guys against armor piercing lads here. We're gonna get. My melee forces are gonna be destroyed by these guys. That's just how it is. They're armor piercing. My spears, my bandits would be destroyed. So we're gonna try and weaken them as much as we can before we go in. Are they gonna move out? It looks like they want to, but uh, the computer is not letting them. Can you go closer as well? Okay, they are moving out. Uh, pull away, quickly. Crossbows. Oh, you're stuck. Send in the bandits. Crossbows, try and get away from there. Move to the side. Let the bandits deal with them in melee. Try and form up like here. And you can form up on the sides here. Try and do maximum damage while my bandits do the lifting. Okay, not you. Bandits. Only the bandits are going into melee. Get into position. Weaken these guys down as much as you can. That's a nice kill there, bandits. Well done. We're getting some kills. The bandits are actually decent. They're not too bad. Four attack, eight defense. That's okay. That's okay. Let's take a look at the lumbermen. Seven attack, five defense. Armor piercing as well. Uh, these guys have three armor, okay. My bandits are a pretty solid match against these lumbermen. Uh, just fire everything you have on them. Uh, can you like move away a little bit? I don't, don't want to risk any friendly fire from these bloody crossbows. The battle is very but this is good. The lumbermen are going to be no problems. Absolutely no issue. Uh, that's good. Uh, come on. Get the entire unit to move. Oh, this is glorious. We're just destroying everyone here. And we're still going to have some ammunition left while we get... Are they going to rush forwards here and try and go for my archers? No, they're flanking. I'm not sure what they're doing. Try and go for the units in the back here. These guys. What are they trying to do? Can you focus them? Try and break them. I don't want them to try and charge my poor, poor Dunedain Rangers here. That would indeed suck. Get off my front porch before I call the authorities. That's what I want to say to these guys. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. They're getting destroyed. Keep going. Fast forward. Some of them are broken. The enemy are badly bloodied. All of them they are broken. Okay, let's move men. into the settlement. Are these guys actually moving. Let's form up over there then with the ranged troops if they want to have a fight with me. Bandits, you can take them on in melee. I wanted to run. Are oh, they moving back? The oh, it looks like they might be. Now. Let's just walk. Don't run. We don't need to run. They're not going for me. They're falling back, all of them. These guys can actually move in as well. I'm not sure that we're going to use these guys. I want to try and use the bandits in melee and possibly the, the general in melee. I don't want to lose any more of these guys. I want to train them um, cheaper. Okay. Yeah, they're falling back to the square. Okay, we'll take that. 
The bandits are of course going, going to be the first guys to move in. Oh, these woodland hunters, we have the ranged advantage, we should have. We should be able to fire on them without them being able to fire on us. The rangers have a lot of range, so maybe we could snipe some of them down before we move in. Okay, the cell swords, what are we trying to do here? Okay, it looks like they want to fall back as well. Lumbermen, they still have some of the lumbermen left. Not a big issue though. It looks like they want to go for me in combat with the lumbermen, okay. Bandits just go forth, meet them. They should break instantly even though we only charge them with bandits. Let them charge us. Uh, archers. You can fire a shot or two on the back line. Try and weaken them. Not too many shots though, we want to keep the ammunition for the rest of their forces. Just weaken some of them. These guys shouldn't last too long. Okay, keep firing, keep firing. Just try and weaken them. We need to get rid of these lumbermen. Keep up if the we shots. There like we go. This, we will smash the enemy. And now we can stop firing. You can stop as well. Yeah, they should break rather easily. This unit is broken. Let's try and break this one. They're wavering. Wavering. Okay, one guy remaining. Uh, cell swords are moving forth. Bandits, can you move forth a little bit? get the rangers up front now so that we can start harassing down the cell swords and maybe even the wood are they moving forth with them as well now we need to be able to get the shots off perhaps we should fight them in this kind of area so that we can get better shots at them stand over there let them have the uphill uh, let them have the hill advantage Matters not. We're gonna get easier shots at them if they do. You can help. Are they gonna move back in? Oh, bloody hell, come on. <laughs> this is actually disturbing. They're firing at me, just go in. Bloody hell, just go in. I'm just gonna go in now. I don't want to wait anymore. It's only bandits, we don't care too much for them anyways. We're gonna lose a fair chunk of them here against the cell swords. Lumbermen, looks like they want to go for some action again. Cells are moving back and the woodland hunters are in the front lines. Try and catch them in melee if we can. If we Push like forwards, this, ignore these lumbermen. The Try and catch these woodland hunters in melee. They're really weak in melee, these guys. Push, 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 push. Catch them in melee. There we go, we did it. Now we just need to squeeze through with some of our rangers to get some shots off. You're going to try and squeeze your way in here. If we can get to the sides here, we should have an easy time here. Bandits, just hold the line. Uh, these cells, so these woodland hunters are still firing their missiles. Uh, they're doing the arcing shot. Let's see if we can go to the side with you. Pop the ability. Help the bandits out a bit. Make them a little bit stronger in melee. They're fighting cell so they're going to lose that engagement. Stand over there and start destroying them. You're going to try and take this path here. Don't get stuck in melee. Whatever you do, don't get stuck in melee. We're forming up. Glorious. We're getting to the side. This is perfect. The bandits are still quite healthy. Uh, we have about um, 90 remaining, so we're losing them quite fast, though. Some of the rangers are dangerously close here to the front lines, but we're, it looks like we're safe. You need to start firing. And you are going to form up like that and start firing as well. Where are those crossbows? They're slowly but surely getting here. They're exhausted. My ranges are fresh and warmed up. These guys are not well suited for this kind of combat. Okay, we're dropping them fast. We need to start firing now. Rain down hell upon them. Quickly. These woodland hunters are going to drop like flies. The cell swords though are quite strong still. Is this the general? No, it's just a... So I think the general is this guy here. Yeah, that's the general. It's taking an awful amount of time for these guys to get here. 
We might need to keep them here, honestly. They're not going to get inside in time before my uh, bandits are dead. So they're going to stay there and try and fire at them when they have an opening. We're weakening them quite hard, though, with the armor, especially the general here with his armor piercing shots. Uh, let's try and get some shots with you if you can. Uh, my bandits are soon going to be dead. Cell swords are beginning to drop as well, but, but they're still quite healthy. We could send in our general into melee here. Four bandits remaining. Keep up, keep up the fire before they're dead. We have them in a perfect position. Oh, they're actually dead. They're going for my ranges now. That's not good. Callaway, general, I want you to go into melee. You need to kite. Uh, one of you can go over there, and one can go there. Crossbows, keep up the fire on the woodland hunters. Which unit are you going to go after? Is it this unit? I think it might be. Keep up the fire, you, and you're just going to kite around them. If we continue like this, I think they're exhausted. The yeah, we're getting some good shots in their backs here. These guys are heavily armored, though. We're not getting too many kills on them. Our men no longer command the city. Mm, they're chasing like hell here. Uh, could you switch focus to the cell source instead? My general is going to carve through. Oh, you, look at this. This is the upgraded version. Oh, they look so good. These upgraded Dunedain bodyguards. They look insane. Okay, wait a little while. Uh, start moving. Okay, they're standing still. Can we fire? Oh, they're going in, I guess. But that's okay. That's okay. My general can handle it. Fire from that position. My general is over there as well, so he's fine, he's fine. And we're weakening these guys as well. You can actually move in now, uh, crossbows, and try and focus down the cell swords as well. Go closer. You can go closer, you're gonna hit more of your shots if you go closer. Uh, surely my general should be able to win this engagement. Um, Anumines is going to be ours as well, and that is really good. That is really, really good for us. Focus down the cell swords. Get rid of them. What's their stats? Let's take a look again. 19 defense. These guys have likely, likely been upgraded in terms of armor. 16 attack, 19 defense, 13 of which is in armor. And that is why we're not killing them too fast. These guys are heavily armored. They really are. But uh, the crossbows are going to start firing on them now, so... Oh, there we go. Remember, these crossbowmen are not that great. Five missile attack is not too great. But it's still armor-piercing, so it's still pretty solid if they can get to do their shots like they're doing now. There's the general, he's over there, he's safe. We're probably killing some of our own bodyguards here, it doesn't really matter though. Uh, they are going to regenerate, as long as the general isn't dying. Uh, can we kill the general soon? Oh, there we go, he's dead. They're likely going to break now. There we go. Good. End the battle. Heroic victory. And Numenas is also ours. Good news. Let's take a look at the kills. Dunedin bodyguards, 247 kills. I'm not surprised at all about that with your armor-piercing shots. You got some really good shots in this fight. Bandits, uh, you killed a few. You did well. You did okay uh, for your purpose. So I'm pretty pleased with your um, what with what you did in this fight as well. So thank you, bandits, for your lovely work. I'm happy that you did what you did. Okay, uh, good victory. Anuminas is ours, and I couldn't be more happy. We have completed the first objective of this campaign. We have captured Fornost. We have captured Anuminas. I'm really happy. Good. The two major regions that we want in this campaign has been captured. Good news. Great work. Glory. Beautiful Honor. work. Anuminas has fallen Glory. to our might. Our Just gonna occupy it. We have the roads here. We have the meeting hall. That's good. Uh, this is a large city. How much population is required? 4,000. Oh, we can get a house of kings already. Cost quite a lot though. Uh, we're not gonna go for it just yet. Uh, but we can get it. Public order bonus due to law. 10%. Global effect. That's a huge thing. Ex 
especially when it's bonus to law. Number of free upkeep units one global. That's also good. Morale bonus to troops trained here. Number of free upkeep units two. That's a good building. Uh, we should need, we really want to start developing this one as well. Uh, ASAP. But then again, I also need Fenas Druin to start the Dunedai militia garrison. Your um, yes, my lord. You're done here. You need to go somewhere else. Uh, where do we need to go with you? Uh, I think it's somewhere in, uh, somewhere over here. I think it is, is this region, perhaps? Um, where? Uh, you must say Ruda Uplands. Uplands? Okay, is it here? Ruda Love... Lo, love? <laughs> Ruda Lowlands. And this... Yeah, it's this region. Okay. Aragon, you're gonna start moving. Stand over there. Just, just nip into the territory and just touch it. We are going to start getting some buildings here. Let's get the Carpenter's Hut here. And Diplomat, we're going to try and get that peace with them. And if we do, we should be able to get some money out of them. And then, possibly if we're lucky, we should be able to start going for the Dunedai Militia Garrison. Yes, my lord. Um, yeah, you're going to move further in the next turn towards this fort and then towards Deadman's Dyke. And be the government. We need to get watchtowers all across these areas as well. We cannot forget about that. Will, these guys are going to move over to Deadman's Dyke. Yes. I want them there. Uh, this is likely going to be a frontier region against yes, Angmar. You, can you move out? Oh, barely. Go for low here. We, we want the growth anyway, so we're going to keep it at low here. Absolutely, we go, we're going to. Your orders, my lord. Uh, get me towers Honor. all across this, this region as well. Want everything visionized, both Anumanas and Deadman's Dyke. And then Hirvigil is going to sit yes, here. Because if we have a governor here, we should be able to grow this place faster and make it uh, economically better, quicker. We can get mines here, not the best mines in the world. Uh, but this place should be able to earn us quite a lot of money. Especially uh, this together with Deadman's Dyke should be quite good for us. That is unfortunately going to be it for the first episode of this campaign. I really hope that you've enjoyed. I've enjoyed it a lot. I have. I'm really looking forward to recording the next one. Uh, this campaign is going to be long. It's going to be hard. It's going to be really, really tough. Uh, we have a lot of scary enemies and we're still really, really weak. Metrith is a region that I'm scared of. Because Dunland might attack me here, and that is not too great. We might want to try and ally ourselves with Enidwyth later and things like that. Um, but for now, our Diplo is going to try and get the peace treaty. After we've gotten the peace treaty with Angmar, though, he's going to move down again. Uh, we can actually get another diplomat. Let's get two. Let's get two diplomats. With this, I'm going to end the episode. Have a beautiful day. Goodbye to you all.